prepare to be teamwork. Ha! It's all mine! Not so fast, Bugger Beard! <laughs> Me formula. This will make you feel a little butter. Not the butter! Well, I got to say, welcome Antonio Banderas. Uh, listen, I'm SpongeBob. You, you're in a SpongeBob movie. I am. <laughs> I mean, that is, must be pretty awesome for for any dad really to to be in a SpongeBob movie. It's pretty cool. Well, knowing the success of this character and how big it became in in, in the last years, you know, that it became an international phenomenon, part of the American pop culture. Um, yeah, to be invited just to participate in something like that. The beginning, I I, I thought, yeah. SpongeBob, really? <laughs> but then I received the script and I started talking with all the creators and, and my director and the producers and stuff. And I understood pretty much, you know, uh, they had in their hands. It was something um, bigger than I thought. That's the truth. And, well, you know, American audiences and the box office is showing that they were absolutely right. It, so. It's got a very big feel to it, actually, is not it? I mean, that might have something to do with the fact that it's 3D as well. So right. it's here in your face. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you're watching on television, it's 2D, it's a completely different concept, in a way. And the movie starts like that, mm. kind of a wink of an eye, you know, where are we going to go this way? And then, boom, the movie explodes and, and it, they come to the real world. Uh, and that was the, the extraordinary side, you know, uh, just to do that side of the movie, not only just with one character that is alive, my character, and some extras also, but, but a real city, you know, a real ocean. Uh, everything is, is real and see the characters in, in certain in that reality um, is uh, mind-blowing. I suppose for, for the fans of uh, SpongeBob or around the world must be kind of beautiful. So we should tell everybody who you're playing. It's uh, sure. Burger Beard, isn't it? Burger Beard, yeah. He's a pirate. He's a, <laughs> he's a pirate, but many things. He's a cook. He's a narrator. At the same time, it's a multi-character, surprising, and sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, and sometimes it's greedy, and sometimes he loves the people surrounding him, and not the people, the characters surrounding him, especially his seagulls. And he doesn't have a parrot, but he got a bunch of seagulls around, and they communicate with with, with him. And um, it's a very um, open uh, character, uh, open for anything possible, but. Uh, but that's the fundamental premise of the whole entire movie. I mean, our hero is a sponge. And uh, from that moment on, anything is possible. And that for the, for the kids' world, I think it's important. Um, and, and then you forget, immediately. You forget that it's a sponge, it's just a character. You know, they're very specific features. And one of the things that he's a very positive guy, you know. And there are no obstacles for him. There's always a smile. He always just overcome all the situations. And that's a, one of the messages. Because what we're making movies for children, you have to be aware of that. You have to be aware that, uh, of course, you have to entertain them. That's the main purpose. But, the, but at the same time, you have to educate them. See, you say it's for children, but actually, I, I there's know. a lot of stuff in here for adults as well. Well, for those children we didn't kill. Yeah. And they are still in, inside of us. I am one of those. Yeah, me too, yeah. SpongeBob <laughs> is my hero. Right. You know, and the fact that he turns into a... There's a, a scene where they're superheroes as well. Right. Uh, which I, I particularly love. I, if it was me, I, I would be Squidward. I would want to get the abs of steel. Right, I haven't seen them. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> How many years of gym is that? Well, I, you know, I was going to say, I mean, that must be everybody's dream is to be able to write your own story and oh I'm going to be a superhero yeah. and I'm going to get these incredible abs I mean I, I assume you you work out in a gym you know, I've seen a lot of your films I know I know yeah. you know you, you've obviously got the physique for that how easy would it be just to put it on just paper? right now no it, this morning they were asking me uh, in some interviews if I uh, what is my favorite uh, superpower if I could have a superpower you know but it's true actually that the the powers of the pirate, having a book in which you can erase the things that you didn't like and rewrite your own history and program the future and saying this is the way things are going to go. you imagine that? Um, it would be fabulous. Um, I don't know to what extent you can, you can have that. All those superpowers, they may have a secondary effect that we don't know. 
Maybe life is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, one of my favourite parts of the film is when they go inside SpongeBob's brain. Right. <laughs> Which is pretty much a very happy place. <laughs> if we were to go inside your head, Oof. what would it be? What, what would be inside there? Complex. Uh, uh, I mean, let's see. Well, Probably I have the same problem that anybody has, which is the certainty of death <laughs> and the relativity of everything else. So, time. Okay. Time. I like a lot of things. I would like to start um, a career of piano right now. I would like to uh, be an engineer, an architect. I would like to just explore in other territories. Maybe a clothing designer. Maybe something that, that's something that I'm going to do. I could see you as a clothing designer. Well, you know, that's maybe something that I'm going to do, I repeat. And there is well, a fantastic academy here in London called St. Martin's uh, University, and maybe I'm going to get in there. At 54, I feel like a kid, as I said to you before, and probably I'm going to experiment in that territory. If you design some clothes, please, I will be. I will wear it for you, you out on the streets. I'll are wear you it on serious? One hundred percent. Perfect. I'll absolutely. I'll, I'll hold you to that. <laughs> right. Antonio, thank you so much. Thank you. Love this film as well. It's All so right. much fun. Thank you, man.